my mother used to say, Omar, never judge anybody because you don't know who is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I've lived with these words. And these words became even more clear when I heard this story of when our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was on his night journey. While he was walking with Jibreel alayhi salam, he smelled this beautiful fragrance. And he said, Ya Jibreel alayhi salam, what is that beautiful smell? And Jibreel alayhi salam responded, That is the smell of Fir'aun's family hairdresser and her family. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Tell me the story. So Jibreel alayhi salam said, one day, Fir'aun's hairdresser was combing the hair of Fir'aun's daughter and her comb fell. And as the hairstylist went to pick it up, she said, Bismillah. And Fir'aun's daughter said, You mean my father? She said, No. I mean Allah. My Lord. Your father's Lord, the Lord of the heavens, the earth, and the universe. And Pharaoh's daughter said, Can I tell my father you said this? And she said, Yes. So when Pharaoh, the Zalim of all Zalims, heard this, he summoned the woman. And while he was sitting there in his arrogant ways with his advisors, he said to the hairstylist, Oh, hairstylist, look at the way he addressed this woman. She was nothing to him. Oh, hairstylist, who is your Lord? And she replied, Allah is my Lord and your Lord. And Fir'aun smiled. And he said, Go home. So the next day, he sent his guards to get the lady and her children, her three young boys. And as she walked into the room, Fir'aun was standing there next to a cauldron. Ibn Kathir Rahmullah has described this cauldron as being so big that a cow could fit into it. Ibn Kathir Rahmullah has also said that there was water so hot in this cauldron that it was spitting out and the water was hitting the ground. And Pharaoh said, Oh, hairstylist, who is your Lord? And she replied, Allah is my Lord and your Lord. And his guards dragged her child, and he was kicking on me, screaming on me, and they grabbed him, and he threw him into the boiling water. And he was screaming, screaming at me, at me. And Fir'aun, this Zalim, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has described this Zalim as being the biggest ever Zalim, the biggest tyrant ever to walk the face of this earth. And this Zalim said, oh, hairdresser, and this Zalim said, Oh, hairstylist, who is your Lord? And she said, Allah. Imagine this mother just saw her child melt, literally melt in front of her eyes. And he grabbed the other child and he threw him into the water. I can only see my mother when I hear this story. And this is how him said, Who is your Lord? And she replied, with hesitation in her heart this time, imagine the pain. She said, Allah, it's my Lord and your Lord. And they grabbed her baby and they hung him over the cauldron, this boiling water. And her heart was saying, Oh Allah, what shall I do for Allah? 
our Lord. And then a miracle from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This baby, this infant, said, Ya me, oh mother, don't worry. We are in heaven. We are in heaven. We are in heaven. And she said, Allah is my Lord. He is my Lord. He is your Lord. And he threw the baby and he threw the woman. Allah. Look at the elevation of this amazing woman. The our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, heard of her story. Who are we to say who is better in front of the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Who are we?